Hey, this is John Deloney, again with my good friend, Rachel Cruz, wearing the same clothes. It's Corona, why not, right? <laughs> um, so what I want to talk about today is this idea of super woo-woo. People think it's cheesy and ridiculous. This idea of gratitude. Mm. And so we can't leave the house except for this. We're six feet apart. These are just lenses that make us look like we're really close, but we're actually six to seven feet apart right now. Um, we can't even change our clothes, right? That's unbelievable. Um, what are we... <laughs> What are we doing about gratitude right now? Like, how are we remaining uh, grateful in this season? Yeah, well, we kind of talked about it on another video. But for me, personally, I just know this is so short-term. Like, this is going to be ending, this whole quarantine mm -hmm. thing. And even the economy, I think we're going we're gonna to come out of it. Mm -hmm. It's going to get back. Uh, health stuff, you know, maybe they'll find a cure. I don't know. Like, it, like I just believe in our world enough to know, like, we're going to come out of this. So— in the time being, like, just knowing that it's short-term, like, this is not going to be for the next six years of our lives, that this is, like, how we're going to be living. So that's kind of what I focus on, of, like, okay, I mean, I feel like I can be grateful for, like, all the random things, because I know, like, those random things are probably not going to be happening in the next, in six months from now. Do you, is gratitude something that you practice on the regs, or is it, like, a, just a disposition that you have? Do I, no, I mean, I practice it for sure, like, writing down a few things every morning that I'm grateful for, and I did that better in routine or out of routine because okay. of quarantine. Okay. But, but no, that is like a discipline that I have. Yeah. Because it is, it's just true. I'm like, when you just, because for me, for so long, I woke up, like grabbed my phone and like checked email mm. and all that. You know what I mean? Like I just started off my day like that. And like, and you know, that's probably mm. better than I even do. But the science even of your brain of like what gratitude does to you. Right. And I can experience that firsthand. Like I, I know what that feels like right. and the changes in who I am when you're grateful. Because when you're not grateful and you are in a hard season, for me, I can go back to that list and just see like pages and pages and pages. And I have a thing on my notes mm -hmm. app. So I'm like, I can just scroll, scroll, just list of the most random things that I've wrote, written, you know, throughout the past couple of years of things I'm grateful for. So that's helped me a lot. And so you re you go back and review those yeah, when you're in low I do. seasons? Yeah, totally. Totally. Does your house have a gratitude practice or is this just something you do by yourself? Uh, no, it's kind of something I just do. Your husband's not great. Yeah, no, he's not grateful at all. Unbelievable. <laughs> this guy, this guy. Um, no, Winston's very grateful. No, <laughs> um, so... Here's how I do. I actually brought mine. This is actually this is like my. I bought it at For like a real. coffee shop. This is like Firefly. It's some old TV show that it's like a TV show diary. But like this is it, man. This is like the one I it's actually awesome. use, and I'm getting to the very end of it. And then this is like um, this is my day, and I carry this card around. I don't have like a notes app or anything like that. I'm not savvy enough for that, but I actually write it down every day. Do you have a journaling practice that you use? Yes. Tell me about that. And, I'm, and I'll say this. I'm very seasonal with my journaling. So, like, all through college, I journaled, like, almost every day. Okay. And then, I mean, I've had, like, ups and downs throughout, like, being out. But when I was in college, it was, like, four years of straight. And I wish I, I, wish I kept it up because mm -hmm. I can go back to those, right? Like, even in college. Is that fun like, or is it dramatic? It's a little dramatic. But you know what I do have? <laughs> do you know what I do have, John? True story. In my freshman year journal, um, it was like, gosh, it had to have been— I mean, school starts by October or, or August. So it's probably like September. I was really early on when mm -hmm. I was, because I was like writing about my dorm. Blah, blah, blah. First day I met Winston Cruz. I wrote in my journal. Oh, gross. I said, God, if I could marry a man like Winston Cruz, I would be so gross. happy. Because I thought he was so hot. He loves Jesus. <laughs> it was like all the things. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's Winston Cruz. I have that written. Is that not funny? And then two years later, he asked me out. And so then it all it these years later, while. you find out he's not even grateful. It's too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> no, so all that to say, though, I'm like, it's crazy. Like, going back and you read, like, good times, bad times in your mm -hmm. life all through journaling. It's just so helpful with perspective. And then for me, in this recent season, I've been journaling a ton because I just have, like, I don't know. Things are changing in my heart and different mm -hmm. things. But I'm like, it's good just to document it. When you get it out and it's not just floating in your head, mm -hmm. it's such a good practice. How do you recommend people around you who maybe aren't disposed to gratitude like you are or don't have the, the practice? What do you tell folks? Gosh, I would say that— or You have, like, 11 trillion followers on your <laughs> social medias and the internet. Trillion. What do you tell trillions. them? Um, I mean, for me, gratitude, when it comes to, like, even just the money message, I mean, it's, like, the gateway to contentment. And so when you're grateful, when you have a heart filled with gratitude, there's no room for discontentment and comparisons, all of these, like, mm. enemies that attack us in so many ways— Gratitude just takes that all out. Like so when you're gratitude just grateful. is a tool of contentment? I believe so, yes. So I have a contentment journal. Okay. Speaking of journaling, because I love journaling so yes, much, yes, I like yes. created my own. So the contentment journal, so it walks through um, all like these steps, basically, of how to become content. So it actually starts with gratitude, leads to humility, which leads to contentment. So 
I have 30 that. days, okay. 30 days, 30 days of each of those because they're big segments, right? Big mm-hmm. words. But once you can practice them and get them in a rhythm, it changes you. But we, I start with gratitude in it because it's huge. So I want to just like come up with this crazy scenario. Let's say you've got, um, I'm just going to make this up totally. Oh, I'm so nervous. You've go ahead, got, John. let's say, two parents who have kind of been who they've been for a long time mm-hmm. and they may or may not be super outspoken about what they believe and they think. Um, and then how do you encourage them to be grateful? I mean, I would say starting just with yourself because I think it becomes really vulnerable if you're not used to sharing on that level mm-hmm. and like just doing it, it can be very vulnerable if you haven't done it yourself. So yeah. I would recommend practicing it yourself. So just like writing it down there, putting it in your notes app, keeping it to yourself for a little bit. I think it's okay because you're practicing it yourself. I love it. How to feel it. And then from that, when you be- when that becomes normalized, I feel like it's easier than to communicate that to someone else. Awesome. And communicating gratitude, sh- you can, can be vulnerable, but it doesn't have to be scary. Like, you're not communicating conflict or, like, mm. something, a big topic, right? Like, especially like with your spouse. Okay. You could just be like, well, I'm really grateful for <laughs> our light fixture that I picked out last year, and I love it. Like, do you okay, know what I'm saying? I love, like, I love it, it, it I love can start yeah. kind of shallow. Is that bad? No. no you're no, the doctor. No, no, no. It can start kind of shallow. And st- not really. Not really. Not really. <laughs> the depths. So— yeah, so here's a couple of things that I think is critical um, that I've learned about gratitude. Mm-hmm. Number one is when when something bad happens, right? And the buzzword around that right now is trauma. When something traumatic happens to you, whether it's it's affirmative trauma, which like you saw a car wreck or you had an abusive relationship, or something um, is not affirmative trauma, like you were neglected as a kid mm-hmm. or your parents were never around, they were working too much or whatever, and that you, you grow up with that disconnection, that doesn't have a clock or a calendar on it. And what's so beautiful about gratitude is it brings you to the right now. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Yeah, totally. It does totally. have a clock on to it. I'm present, grateful like, for this thing today. Yes. And it takes you from your your traumatic response, from your limbic system to your, I'm here right now. Mm-hmm. And right. Yeah, and yeah, almost yeah, you good. just you just nailed the process um, from gratitude to contentment. But I like to, to to think of gratitude, I mean as contentment as this. My shoulders just dropped. Like I'm mm-hmm. here. Does that make sense? There's a piece. And so, yeah. yeah, this practice. And so, I want to recommend everybody do two things. Number one, um, whether you may or may not take a small booklet from the place that you work, and hopefully they don't. <laughs> it's not stealing, is it? It's not. Um, and you start a new journal during a tough season. So when Corona kicked off. March 29th, that's when I started this thing. Mm. And I am an introvert from Texas. I got a lifetime hunting pass for the state of Texas. My dad's a homicide detective. Like, I'm a, I consider myself like a poser tough guy. And yet I know that every morning I'm waking up and I'm writing down my feelings. Um, a couple days ago, I woke up with, I'm scared. Today, today, I, my feelings started with, the first line is, I'm feeling lonely. More so every passing day. And it's important for me to get that out of my head and out of here and on paper so then it becomes tangible and now I can set about solving it instead of just spinning around in my head, yes, right? Yes, so good. And the second thing is make a plan. And again, I'm lo-fi and I carry this around in my pocket with me. Um, and it's got like, go for a walk in the rain today because it was raining this morning, do my gratitude journal, do my prayers. I even put hugs my family because I get busy and I get up in my head and I forget to engage with my family. Um, but make a new plan every day. That's another thing about our heads, man, is... Familiar equals safety in our brains, mm-hmm. right? That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so everything around us is screwed up and everything is unfamiliar. So every one of our alarms is going off. And so the quicker we can get back on a routine, even if the only routine you have is making a new routine, <laughs> right? It does, yes. It just brings us back to the right now. Okay, um, before we go, give yes. me one thing you're grateful for. Uh, one thing I'm grateful for. In, um, in the crazy of Corona. Um, trademark. It's kind of broad, but it's just true. My family right now. Like, being home with my kids has been so fun. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it, yes. They're like, I don't know. We've kind of gotten in a new routine. I'm like, yeah. oh, well, like, this is fun being with them and, like, doing naps and all of it, being there for all of it. Uh, and Winston, of course, my husband. A distant Always second. <laughs> um, I'm actually grateful for my wife first. Before, <laughs> okay. Um, yes. I am um, grateful for the same thing, for this season of closeness and togetherness. Yeah. I, I can't imagine a scenario where we ever have this again. Totally. And so as— mind-numbing or as bananas as it can be, it's also such a gift, right? Yeah. I, and I was talking to Dave the other day about, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to work without five hug breaks each day, right? <laughs> totally. Um, and just the planning with, with Sheila every day, my wife every day, and yeah. here's what today's going to look like. So um, it's a cool season. It's, it's a wild season. For sure. 
Stay grateful. Make a plan every day. Make, be intentionally be grateful. Yes. Um, and this is John Deloney, my good friend Rachel Cruz, signing out. Rock on to the break it on.